Let's build a handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Hey, we're working on a garage door. Come on up and, oh. First thing you want to do is look up those springs up there. Tension springs inside. I'm sure we'll find a broken it's one. Right? Off on an on emergency That's switch. Right. Wow, that's a local company. They should have that part, I think. I think that's a local company. Um, but yeah, there's a... See this little loop right there? It's uh, this thing here. So that's part of the release right there and then we should be able to pull it and use it manually um i don't know do you want me to try and open the garage door for you or what we, we need a, something to hold this and that well, well, how soon do you think you can get this thing? but uh yeah. well we have to call the company and ask them if they still stock that that's the first thing um so yeah that well if we if it's going to be like days i'd like to maybe put my car in the garage yeah yeah i would think it's going to be days at this point yeah um so, uh, Okay. So I'm trying to get things all straightened out. And I really would hope I could come and go as I please. And so I'll take out my trash. I can't take out the trash. I gotta move my trash. Ah, uh huh. Yeah. Uh, you know, when the garage doesn't work, I just kind of locked in. Is your garage at all? Uh, and then but you know what else? I need you for another thing while you're here. Okay. Again. Oh, well, the shower door fell out. The seal. Wow. I was trying to clean it, and the seal popped, and the whole door popped out. Well, you have to get killed. Well, that's the one. So, basically, per foot of the door, you want to put one turn? Is that yeah, one, one turn? Yeah, one turn. Per foot, foot on the, the height. Yeah. Okay. And so that'll be seven turns. There's four holes on the cone, so that's 28 holes. Okay, four holes on the cone, you're talking about that thing there you adjust it with? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you want to do 30 holes, so you have half a turn on that spring when the door is in the open position to keep it open. Uh, half a turn to keep it open? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. And so basically, in order to take this off, you have to take the other spring off too, right? Um, you need to at least make it loose so that that shaft can slide. Oh, uh, it can slide. Yeah. Okay. It's just one continuous. Okay. Yeah. And then, so these little roller things aren't attached to the to the. Uh... The drum is fastened by sepals, just like the head of the spring. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. I think I got it. Okay, so in order to figure out what kind of spring you have, um, you need to measure. Count twenty coils. Twenty coils, twenty winds, and see what the uh, distance is between the twenty winds. And then we also need to get the length. And then we're going to length that. And then, uh, then we need to get the diameter of the spring as well. And this will require a tensioning rig, so we have to put some tension back on the spring. So basically, this has to be loosened, and then we have to put uh, tension on that spring. I'm not sure how many wines exactly, but we're going to find out. So that's what we need to do to fix this one. Old school electric double door, wood door. And that's what we got. Thanks for watching, guys. If you need any help, you can contact me, 707-443-8347. Pacific time, BassTech72588 at Gmail. Thanks for watching.